Welcome everybody to Crystal Kyle and Friends. Obviously, Crystal and I are not in the same room. Um, we are <laughs> That's mandated. So we broke up, guys. It's the end. Yes. It's over. <laughs> yes, we broke up. It's over. We got engaged, and then seven minutes later, decided. I don't know. I don't <laughs> this know about isn't this. Working out. Yeah. This doesn't feel right. So we're trying to keep our distance. We're currently divvying up the assets. Um, she's going to keep the dog. <laughs> Um, I get to keep the it's house. My dog. Uh, g- right. So you keep the dog, <laughs> but I'm gonna take your house. Um, and <laughs> no, so I get. I mean, I guess we should address the elephant in the room, which is that um, we are engaged. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah, look at that. You see that? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's, I like it. I, I, I think that's very pretty myself, <laughs> personally. Yeah. So by the way, thanks to everybody who uh, you know we we tweeted it, and then you uh, you. Posted some on Instagram and put it on the gram. Yeah, you know me. I'm not. I don't read comments almost as a matter of principle. I'm not going to say I don't cheat every now and then, take a little peek skis. But you know, uh, you you were perusing them quite heavily, and you know the response was like 99 percent positive, and that's uh you know that's awesome. I want to thank everybody yeah. for for the positive reaction because I feel like everything. Maybe maybe it's just only in my head at this point, but I feel like everything is so cynical all the time and like. And that's also how I am. Like, sometimes I get really fucking cynical and skeptical and I'll say fucked up shit. And if somebody else were to announce some sort of engagement, I might be like, LOL or some shit. Right. But people were responding and it was very kind and and, you know, uh, sweet. And so that, you know, I was very touching. Yeah. I mean, one percent of y'all are real assholes, but everybody else was amazing. (laughs) And it is it is also interesting. Like Instagram was almost very close to 100 percent positive. Twitter, there was more typical Twitter snarkiness, et cetera, et cetera. But overwhelmingly very sweet, very positive, and very much appreciated. I think the other thing is that like even when you get the overwhelmingly positive response, the ones you tend to remember, <laughs> like the few negative ones. So that yeah. also makes it in your mind like like the balance of it was negative, even though it wasn't. But in this case, it really was overwhelmingly very sweet. And we appreciate it, guys. We're excited. My favorite comments are always the ones that like either thought we were already married um, or the ones who didn't even know we were together. Yeah, I liked those like, ones. Like where you get the really wild, like just... Totally oh, different shit, oh sides of the spectrum. Yeah. yeah. Or people, I, I even saw people who were like, is the, are you trolling us? Like, because they didn't know that we were even together. And so they didn't know to believe that we were actually engaged. But yes, we are actually engaged. We will get married next year. The plans are in the works. So. And you are all invited. All, all 30,000 of you are invited. <laughs> we're going to do it at like a football stadium. Uh, it's gonna be oh fun. my god we're that'd gonna, be a disaster we're gonna get it on tv and everything we're really gonna suck ourselves off hard how's that sound that sounds horrible yeah i agree it sounds love horrible. you guys yeah. but no thank you let's just go get eloped <laughs> let's just do that yeah I'm for the the vegas route is not a terrible one to be honest with you yeah no i think you're right it's all the social pressures that move people sort of away from that to force you into the traditional route you know I do feel like people like us, we would be fine with, yeah, let's just do it that way. So, but anyway, uh, enough about us. I think we've talked about us quite a bit. Um, we have Ryan Grimm on the show today, and um, he's, uh, he's a nice dude. I, I enjoy his reporting over there at The Intercept. Um, what I like about Ryan, first of all, I just haircut. think he's extremely, his haircut. extremely intelligent. And his haircut. I think his hair is always amazing. It's phenomenal. Like that's the first thing you think of when you think of Ryan Grimm. Who it's gets more shit, hair. me or him, over the haircut? That's a toss-up. Definitely him. You really think so? Yes. All right. Yes, okay. definitely him. Okay. The okay. other funny thing about Ryan is he has all these doppelgangers out there who look just like him. Like that dude who's the governor of Mississippi looks oh. weirdly like an older version of him. Oh, <laughs> so, D. He looks so exactly funny. like him. And then he's got his uh, Twitter pick right now is like his profile pic is like some dude in a flight suit who looks exact like you cannot tell it is not Ryan Grimm. So another interesting thing about Ryan. Um, One more thing about Ryan that's cool is he's starting a show with Emily Jashinsky on the Breaking Points channel called Counterpoints that launches this week, which we're very excited about. We'll talk to him about that a little bit. Um, But, you know, Ryan is someone who is both 
sort of deeply sourced in D.C. and certainly with the progressive side of D.C. and with left organizations, but also is really connected with independent media. So I've always found him to be this incredibly unique and incredibly important bridge between the kind of like official D.C. left world and the independent media world. Um, I've relied on him for years now because of his reporting. And, you know, I've always found him to be an incredibly essential and thoughtful resource when it comes to understanding how D.C. works and what it means for the left. So very excited to get to talk today to the uh, Washington Bureau Chief of The Intercept and the new host of CounterPoints, Ryan Grimm. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.